control of me How's it going guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you Bay Clan's war win number 198 and in this war, a brilliant one, one forty-eight to 39, oh, oh yeah, one more thing, as you can probably tell my voice is sounding a lot crisper than it was before, that is because I got a pop filter, it looks really cool, it's like I'm staring into a black hole when I'm talking into the mic and I'm staring at the mic, but I'm going to make my voice sound a lot crisper, those P's aren't going to sound, oh for God's sake, sorry, those P's, okay, those P's aren't going to sound too vigorous and like too accented like okay that one probably did all right never mind just my voice sounds a lot clearer so you get into the replays super so again with another maintenance break took away over like 80 percent of the replays of this war so really i only have three replays which actually show good attacks actually gain the stars so that's basically what i'm only going to show you i'm limited to three replays of our attacks so starting off here naga dijolikia attacking then number 13 squiggles with the gohog attack strategy with two witches which is a very good idea i think i might try next war actually my next war i'm actually gonna do a queen walk attack strategy and probably a scattered golar loon because i need to switch up a bit start practicing new strategies because gohog is all plain and you guys know it is quite plain and you guys wanted to see some more so i'm gonna try the walking queen attack strategy with my weak level 14 queen and i might try the scattered golar loom which is really cool but now let's get into the attack as you can see he puts down the hogs well while the um, dragon is still standing the dragon has made his way out of that poison spell so but luckily the skeletons that just came out aren't getting affected by their poison spell but nonetheless one of our first impressions i thought hey this might not even be a three star this is not looking too good but he did trigger off a double dragon bomb there and the other du double dragon bomb i think did get triggered I may be wrong, but still, look how many hogs are left over, and we still got one heal spell remaining, and I don't think there's another place, there you go, that last giant bomb does go off, so there are no more double giant bombs, or no more giant bombs, so he doesn't have nothing to worry about, and all that is left that can actually cause harm to him is a spring trap, so he just saw those barbarians get springed off, but at the moment it is a brilliant looking attack so now he's got all four of those goblins down to start cleaning up the corners of the base and look at that golem still standing queen still standing with her ability and hogs plenty of hogs left over and we'll just speed this up for a brilliant three star attack from naga digilokia uh, yeah so look into our second raid um who's it gonna be Again, I'm limited to so just looking replays. We have Basel, our number 15, attacking their number 15. Sadly, I wasn't in this war. Um, I, f I opted out by accident, thinking I had enough Dark Elixir to upgrade both my heroes, which I did not. So I was opted out. I didn't have time to cancel the war. So I was out of this war. But I'm in the next war, I think, if they put me in. But starting off to this attack, we got Basel attacking number 15, Squiggles number 2. And he starts off again. Go Hog attack strategy with very, very boring our clan with the gohog we love the gohog and golar loon so there's not too much variety in our clan i might start switching up and start using some scattered golar maybe some walking queen or the queen walk attack strategy but nonetheless those witches in the clan castle and the queen and the few wizards did destroy that dragon so i think my next gohog i do do i'm really gonna have to carry some witches because those witches look like Sorry, they, those witches look very solid and it looks like they really help you into getting. But as you can see, double giant bomb, first double giant bomb triggered, which is in a very weak place because when you want to defend against Gohog, you really want to. Oh, for God's sake. You really want to make it so that those the first part, the go part, doesn't get triggered, like doesn't trigger giant bombs. But this defender's base did trigger off. Uh, well, did make it easy for Basil to trigger off a double giant bomb. And I'm just looking. Ooh, I thought there was going to be a giant bomb there, but as you can see, five more hog riders to left over. Leave five more hog riders left over to put down. But as you can see, I think there's a yes. The double giant bomb is going to be there, so I think that last heal spell may go down. Yep, luckily, and I think they dodged that second giant bomb, so that is very lucky from Basil. And now he's not got too many hog riders left over, but he's got the queen shooting at the gold storage and then the mortar, so a good distraction for the hogs from the mortar. And now the king running very far out of his range. I understand why he did it, so that video quite far back was quite irrelevant, but nonetheless, the king is down very far of his radius. And again, the goblins go down once again to hit the walls um but it has again 
brilliant attack and the Gohogs are working very well for us and that's the reason why we're not switching on because they are doing a great job for us and why uh, reinvent the steering wheel that's what it's called that's the saying why reinvent the steering wheel because it's working for us so the last attack here is gonna go from our number nine attacking number 14 is it a Gohog it's another oh it's actually a much more interesting Gohog the Queen Walk Gohog or the Walking Queen Gohog. So he starts off here by putting a few wizards. As you can see, there's a lot of structures on the outside of his base. But then the Queen goes does go down to the top, very far away from the clan castle and the enemy queen. But that is to destroy quite a lot of structures up top because air defense is going to be out of range for those healers. My Wi-Fi has gone down a bit, but nonetheless, as you can see, first defense down, and now the Queen can just focus on taking out those structures around the base, and it's looking really good. So, golems go down for the go part of a raid. Two golems, I think, still there. Hopefully, this Wi-Fi sound will go away, but it's not too distracting. It's first jump spell goes down, and this base is a very interesting base. I think it's a very weak layout. I don't think it's going to it did the defender that good, but only a Lava Hound comes out of Clan Castle. That's only going to be a distraction, not too much to destroy my troop. Well, he did, but not too much to destroy Bald Eagle's troops. But as you can see, the Queen's still full health. The healer's still working their way on the Queen. And the queen, even if it takes a bit of damage from those lava pups, the healers are there to heal. And the air defense goes down with only two shots fired at one of those healers. And at the moment, it's the brilliant attack. Look how far he is into the base with the healer still standing. And now it's just surgically placing those hog riders. That's what he's going to do inside the space. And I think the dry moms are going to only be at the bottom. But if he can keep those troops in the middle alive for long enough, then he's definitely got a well he's dead he got the three star but he's got a much higher chance of getting three star and that's what he did here he put this wizard tower down I mean not the wizard tower down he put a few hogs down and then they're gonna separate both ways which is brilliant take out the first double giant bomb so that was brilliant from those hog riders brilliant teamwork there going different directions and then there's not a double giant bomb there but there's plenty of traps and spring traps I can't really keep up with the pace of these hogs because they're doing such great teamwork and there you go all defenses are down Queen is still standing with the healers there and that with a level 25 Queen is a beautiful attack strategy and of course the Gohog again all three attacks you've seen today was Gohog and they were all brilliant so 15 10 seconds left on the times full speed the queen's still getting healed by those healers and that's another three star after the this little maintenance break and final attack we're just going to look at zulu our number 12 attacking their number one and he um 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 he's coming in with a King, Queen, Rage Spell, Wall Breaker attack strategy. So 25 seconds left. I don't know. I think he was a bit drunk attacking this base. Nonetheless, it didn't matter too much. This was our last attack of a war. So, it, well, we didn't lose. So if we, lo if we lost, then all fingers would have been pointing to Zulu. And again, our most current war. We're paired up against another Asian clan, Chinese clan. And again, I don't even know how many Asian clans it's been. Okay, so one two three we've come up against a lot of asian clans so there's not much we can do about it we're just that good so nonetheless guys that's it for me i'm just looking at having a look at my mirror and let's see how if it's fairly match <laughs> really that's my mirror me with level eight and nine walls and level two expos that's my mirror all right guys we're gonna have a it's going to be a struggle this war, but we can't lose, can't get any more losses on that warlog. But anyway, guys, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed that crisp quality. And that's it from me, guys. And goodbye.